waiting for her to give me the money. She opened the wallet, gave me some cash, and sent me to buy her a few drinks. I happily went on the errand and talked nothing more of it. I would appreciate some silence, house. I would really, really appreciate some silence. Me as well, Melissa. I think what we are doing here is very important. A few days after my aunt left, my father called me. Sit down, my daughter, he said. I noticed the other day when your aunt opened her wallet before you, you were staring in silence. Why were you staring into a wallet that did not belong to you? Did you keep it there? I looked at my father in surprise. Little did I know that he was watching me on that day. I had marveled at the crisp Naira notes in my aunt's wallet when she opened it, and I could not avert my gaze. The notes still in my eyes, what my nets would do to nails. I am sorry, Daddy, I said, but she opened it of me. That did not mean you had to blow into the wallet and visually remove all the money tearing with your eyes. Young woman, they replied. You exhibited the attitude of a greedy person. Never look into a wallet, a bag or a box that does not belong to you. Even if they are open in your presence, avert your gaze or I'll try to Go away from there. Now, obviously, he had just taught me the principles of contentment. He had just taught me how not to convert any other person's property. Now, we wonder today why our youths leave the shores of Benin and die in the desert. There is a problem with the mindset. You must turn it around in the beginning. This is why these kind of books are necessary. And today we have 30 in the house. All 30, when bought, the proceeds are going to go by donation to this Igwe organizing community. So I would like to indulge to hear the last part of this story. In 1997, my father died. My world collapsed. I was a third year medical student in the University of Benin. Great Greatest. 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 Back home. I understand, and my father made me realize 
how poverty can push people to do whatever they can to make men ends meet. However, my father also taught me to levitate above poverty of the soul. Physical poverty can be cured, but not poverty of the mind. Never. I remember a particular one, Madam B, who came to the house and asked my mother, Madam B or Madam Eko happened to be my mother's relatives. She asked my mother, what is the use of sending all these girls to school and you don't have money to even feed and eat? Both of them were I began to see the stress in my mother. She was near capitulating point. And this was when I told my mom that I am my father's daughter. I am an apologetically my father's daughter. And I will not swim in the mud with any people. And then, one of these ladies came to the house one day and said to me, you say you are in the university, meanwhile all the university girls I know are loose women. They are hopping from one lecturer's bed to another, or one big politician's bed to another. Instead of doing this on a small scale and any useless naira, why don't you just go to Italy and get paid in foreign currency? Swear you are not following some poor year, year good for nothing small boy. Who has nothing to offer? Okay. I looked at her. I made no response. All I said was, no daughter of Richard who bandy words with someone with an empty cranium like yours. They are busy there speaking grammar and insulting me. Now you know I told you the truth. Permit me house to let you all know today. That that small boy, good for nothing boy, who I ended up marrying, few neurosurgeons in Nigeria, who keep an amusement and patient who begin to tell the tale. I said, I'm sorry. I didn't write this book for me. I wrote it for my brothers and my sisters. I wrote it for my elders and the babies yet unborn. There is a message for everyone in this room. If we want to solve the problem of our country, it is not by being sat in conference rooms. It is by changing the mindset of our people from the homes, the paradigm shift. There's nothing wrong if our governor or our commissioner got a copy of this book and shared it across secondary schools in the world. There is nothing wrong if one of us here got one for our homes. This book is on Amazon worldwide. We launched in Abuja, we launched in Lagos. 2019, you got a copy. We are going to Italy. We are taking it straight to get the message. You can say. I want to employ all of us here in this hall. Even in putting this event together, I was privy to some of the obstacles. I want to employ our elders. We need to mentor the young ones coming. There are very few of us who are interested in the cultural heritage of our people. And when we have such few amongst us, we should encourage them. If you don't know where you are coming from, you will not know where you are going to. I am sure my dad knew exactly that he was going to leave this airplane a lot earlier before I was ready or old enough. And that was why he deposited all these things in me to negotiate the war that we've got to win. We cannot 